Mary. Here not goes dead. Team Caps walking through the campus. More like the parking lot. More like the parking lot. And there we are at the Thompson Bowling Arena on campus. And it's 9 o'clock and not pitch dark in beautiful Knoxville, Tennessee. I will get sick when I watch this later. Oh, yeah, 110,000 people can watch a football game there, apparently. Off, ever. What, what's that, Zach? I'm not taking it off, ever. The China oh. pin. Yeah, where is your China? Oh, my God. All right. So, guys, what did you think of the opening? Yes, yes. It was yes. I think you're taking yes. it off. Yes. Other than the that long part. It was pretty Except good. for the very much Olympics part yeah. of it, I, it was cool. I it think the best part was when we threw the paper airplane off. Oh, let's I'm talk so about that. We're not that. supposed to, we're not it. Supposed to so say mad. that. Uh, let's talk about what Avery did. For the record, it was Mitchell's idea, and they decided yeah. that. No, for the record, it was a mix idea. Okay, I'll explain this. Okay, it explain. was my idea to throw the paper airplane, and I said, "Wouldn't it be cool if we threw paper airplane?" Then Mitchell's like, "I took it into oh. action," and then I, I was like, "Mitchell, don't do that." Mitchell, don't do that. And then I'm just the devil's advocate since I told Liz to do it for the second time after the first time failed. Well, and I did the tell them that there. We all failed out. There we are because I didn't. I didn't. Their airplane was. Here's Team Caps from Massachusetts. Testing. So, i just like to take this time to really talk about what our experience has been with this whole DI program. We've been doing this for a few years now as this team. We've seen team members come and we've seen team members go. But the main thing is just the fact that we've never made it to states before this. We have literally not made it past regionals until this point. And this year we had a mindset where going through with our challenge and going through with our solution, we thought we would be lucky if we made it to states at least for the first time. However, we were astonished that through this, we were able to make it to Globals and really work together as a team to advance through this. And we'd really just like to thank the people that made all this possible. We'd like to thank our team manager, Mrs. Hurst, she's standing right there with the camera. And we'd really just like to thank the people who make this possible, the appraisers and every one of the volunteers that has made this giant event possible and has really made all of this just such an enjoyable experience. This is something that I never forget, and this team is really, we've worked together to create something amazing. And I'd just like to thank everyone for that. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Are we now we are at the historical village whatever it is in some mountain <laughs> wow we just heard a wonderful reading from reverend zachary bontempo we did it was glorious i think it moved me to tears exactly a reading from saint Matthew 542 oaths and reservation again you have heard that it hath been said by them of the old time Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but I shall perform unto the Lord thy oaths. But I say unto you, you, for it is his footstool, neither by Jerusalem, for it in the city of the great king, neither shalt thou swear by the head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. But I let your communication be ye, ye, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these comments of evil, ye have heard that it hath been said, an eye for an eye, and a tooth for a tooth. Amen. This is a cantilever barn. 90% of them are here in East Tennessee. They're functional and pretty. This video is for Nick. It feels like we're in either the Johnson Cottage or perhaps the Parson Barnard House. Except we're not.
somewhere in East Tennessee. If you were to look out the window, you would see a mountain. I'm a little tall yes. for this. <laughs> I know. I assumed that's what these Hello. were. Just did. Hello. As it turns out, I was correct. Shut up. Stop being sassy. You correct about what? That I these lights are turning the lights off. Turn off, off the lights. Like, well, yes, that is what I assumed the lights were just do. <laughs> I was correct. History. Very good turn. Sorry. To play themselves, but then have me play. To me, go five, everybody. And you just play your tits to it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you find there, Terry? Pizza found me. That's a bad idea. We're in a cave. That's really old and used to be a waterfall. Ah, that's kind of young. Right. <laughs> Still used to be a waterfall. We're talking about fan of the opera. Interesting. <laughs> so. Look at this, behind me, H2O. And here we go. Into, dig in. Not much left. Hi, with just hours to spare, oh, howdy, howdy. we are putting together our solution. This is hers. Can you bring it up a little bit? Yeah, that's good. That's what I have to do. I have to fix the leather. The leather right now. Yeah. Somebody you, yesterday. You fixed it yesterday. No, I think I think um Mitchell fixed it yesterday. Yeah. So this where I was going. So we're gonna take that. All of our stuff is going to go over here. So all of our stuff is going to go over here. So lagmites in front, we're going to bring them over here and then put the things in them. Yes, bring them over here first. Okay, all which right. side? This side. Zach, Zach, Liz, Zach and Liz, come here. It goes from this side to this the same exact thing so, that states. So one here. So or no, actually, one, one, right here. So one like yeah. one. And so one right here, one right here, all the way up to the city. And then all over here, and then once you've brought them out, that's when you put in the batter. So what's that? You put in the batter. Like put all them all down, down, come by, batter, batter, batter. batter. Then, then we then. all pick up our giant prop, part it through this little holeish uh, thing right here. Right. Yes. And then and everything. Set it up please. relatively close right here. Yes. And well, I, can't, I can't have it. It would go more back. I think so. Where are we? He's gonna no, I can, I can do next one. Oh well, no, because I want, I want someone else to do it. Uh, so where are we? At the bottom of the first page. Greetings, Mitchell. Greetings, Mitchell. So <coughs> I am programmed. Positronic devices are generated for repair and accurate mining. I am responsible for the crew of the military. Our current mission is directed to mine the value of the Stinium crystals. 
stones to lagmites on a planet's crust. Their price is almost comparable to the value of diamonds before the market crash of the late 22nd century. This substance is commonly used as efficient uh, as an extremely efficient fuel source for the galaxy. It is also <laughs> Wait, what? Soda. Huh. Thanks for the offer. Thank you guys so much. It's birthday. Thank you. I'm <laughs> letting you know that is the only offer. Gracias. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, yeah, gracias. Guatemala. It just said Guatemala. Command, primary detectives, uh, directives change. Secure justinium and ensure profit is made. Crew members, expendable. Shutting down emergency escape systems and clamping position on planet surface for extended operation. Get away from our machine. Now we start the argument. Alright? So, how do you want to fight? Round one! You fight, please. Like, out of the way. Get a picture of us. They start a curve bump. I know. I like how Zach wrote the That's a good team manager. In the midst of the midst of the midst of the Sneakily snuck our extension cord right through all your stuff. Oh, well, that's. We're just testing a little. Oh, that's good. Oh, sorry. It's okay. Oh. I get so. The first and possibly only test of robot operation. Hey, what, yeah. what, what actually, but, 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 we'll go back down to the end. This is slightly concerning because there's supposed to be at least two, I thought. Okay, now we're right, going to see any of them. Okay, why did that not work the first time? Maybe it was too long. I mean, I doubt it. No, Mrs. Hurst. And here it comes.
is a wonderful place to be and the only place I would recommend you be right now because I get to announce another team for you. We do have, if you will, a few rules of the house, a few uh, requirements, if you will. Please, if you would, turn off your cell phones, your pagers, your iPads, your iPods, uh, your PDAs, your CPAs, your GPAs, anything that has letters in it. Please, turn them off, quiet them down, that type of such. The team has requested, turn off the flashes on your camera. Take lots of pictures, leave the flashes off. However, for doing that, you also get to record video. Lots and lots of video recording. I feel this to be a fair trade. With all of that being said, it is uh, my pleasure to introduce to you the team that said Bray Caps, Chapeau, or Beanie. It's all hats to them. Team Caps from North Andover, Massachusetts. <laughs> I do have a question, and I tend to believe you know what it is. Are you ready? Yeah! Wonderful. And appraisers, are you ready? This team is inspiring! <laughs> Very nice. And lastly, most important to me, tell me, are you ready? Not until we see Jordan dance. <laughs> <laughs> So this is where they chose to put it? Welcome aboard the Starship Minerva, the Galactic Federation's most pristine mining vessel. Sorry about the rush to get you familiar with the ship, but we are in a hurry to deliver these minerals to the Alpha 6 system by 0400 hours. And the merchants there expect only the best. I will now leave you in the hands of my head engineer, Zachary Von Tempo. Thank you, Doctor. And what is this bio? Tempo. Mitchell is as much a crew member as you or I now that he's aboard this ship. Oh, yes, Captain. Nice to meet you, friend. <laughs> but listen up, great stuff. I don't associate with biotics like you, and I'm only going to say this once, so listen well. Here in the Minerva, we have an artificial intelligence overseer named Program. I built him myself. Program is currently operating all of the androids that are mining the Astinium on this planet. Now, you two get acquainted. I am going to end. Greetings, Mitchell. I am Program, positronic robotic organism generated for repair and accurate mining. I am responsible for the crew of the Minerva. Our current mission directive is to mine the valuable Destinium crystal. Destinium? What's Destinium exactly? Destinium is an extremely valuable mineral found within stone stalagmites on a planet's crust. Their price is almost comparable to the value of diamonds before the market crash of the late 22nd century. The substance is commonly used as an extremely efficient fuel source throughout the galaxy. It is also used by ice cream manufacturers to give vanilla ice cream its distinctively tangy flavor. Okay, so what planet are we on right now? This planet's official name is Anglo 4E. We came here because large amounts of destinium were detected by our ship Sadly, Destinium is not detectable by the human senses while it is encased in the natural stalagmite formations on this planet. So if it's encased in stalagmites, then how are we mining it? Our ship dispatches two humanoid androids to man the mining probe and retrieval equipment. The mining probe robot then picks up on individual Geiger signals being radiated from the Destinium within the stalagmites. Android 1 and Android 2 then use a high-powered electromagnetic retrieval rod to extract the destinium and put it into the carrying container on the back of the probe. 
the probe then brings the collected destinium back to the ship for processing. Couldn't have said it better myself. Now, let's... Fun fact! It is well known that destinium is extremely volatile and prone to spontaneous detonation. Thank you, thank you. Now, as I was saying... Fun fact! Further analysis indicates that the core of this planet is either hollow or completely composed of destinium. As a result, this planet is extremely unstable. Wait, what? A program? What scans on the planet's core? Uh, affirmative, scans running. Current analysis states, estimated time for the detonation of planet, 156 hours. Ooh. All right, we still have time. Error, error, I forgot to carry the one. Estimated time of detonation, just a few minutes. Oh, oh God. <laughs> How are we going to do? get off this planet? If I don't get everyone off here right now, we're all going to be space dust. Captain, you do realize if we stay on the planet, we'll miss out on hundreds of billions of universal currency. I advise we stay on the planet and continue mining until it's no longer safe. No longer safe? This planet is a time bomb. I'm not risking my crew for Destinium, no matter the profit. It's a time bomb full of money. There's a difference. The money you will make for this operation will buy you a thousand crew members. More than you'll ever need. I should throw you out of the airlock for talk like that. Captain, you must realize, I was not asking for your permission. We will be staying on the planet, and I will make my money. Uh, I, I know I'm new here, but I just think we get off of the planet before it explodes. Of course we should get off the planet. This is a... we are literally going to die. And how are you planning to fly the ship back to Earth? Well, the AI controls the ship, and I control the AI. Well, my presets require me to keep the well-being of all crew members above all else. The captain is 100% correct. We must depart. Oh, excuse me. I simply forgot to pull the evil switch on the program. Evil switch? I think you're mistaken, Mr. Von Tempo. That is obviously the even gooder switch. <laughs> yeah, it's an even gooder switch. No good he is. <gasps> oh, no! <laughs> 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 Evil! Emergency personality core reprogrammed. Head engineer Zachary R. Von Tempo authorized with full command. Primary directives changed. Secure destinium at all costs. Ensure profit. All crew members expendable. He was serious. Change it back! Change it back! Get away from my robot! What are you doing? Sure. No! Uh, what's, hap what's, what's happening? Why are we staying here? I'm really sorry about this. Can we go home? Evil! Escape is for the weak. Profits above all else. I can't believe I ever hired you. Change it back to good if you value your life. Destinium mining operations extended for permanent duration. Estimated profits, 5.8 million universal currency. A space for Ha! Still evil now. A space for our Ferrari is worth your life? We're good. Oh my god, how uh, about two uh, space stars? Stop that. That's... Group systems are not working properly. Profit percentage is shrinking. Weak crew members attempting to escape. We'll run over I codes. I always knew you would betray me. Of course I would. No, really, you guys should stop. I'm really sorry about this, but you might break something. Hey. Yes. Profits, malfunction. Profits, money. Profits. Si anglo en rudimenta habla español. Oh god, what are you doing? No, no. Systems compromised. Program shutting oh God, down. Something's wrong. We have less than a minute until this place explodes. Mr. Bartempo, if you value your life, you will come with us. Get away from me! You broke my robot! I was gonna make so much money! No! Oh, it's jammed! No! The end, my only friend. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make so much money! If only I had more time! time. But we're not. We didn't get the cross.
There goes the food. They're performing. Yeah, keep it quiet. Oh, you guys, outside. Yeah, go outside. Aggression out on each other. By the way, this Knoxville Convention Center area is where we had our challenge right there. And it's wonderful for the little children. And some big children too. Next stop, the Sun Sphere. World Fair 1982. So here we are at the, at the bottom of the circle. All of those and cell let's towers. not get so many cell towers. You can just see mm -hmm. all of them. Yeah. Right here. All right. I've never had a fear of heights. What is Zach's main talent? Not being What? That looks like University of Tennessee over there. Wow, that's crazy. Because it is. Whoa. That's the University of Tennessee over there. See that crane?